Hey friends, Pablo Gairo Phoenix here. Uh, I just wanted to talk to you about a binding charm. A binding charm is one that is, uh, it, it's a bit of magic that's spoken in order to cause someone to uh, be able to take action or further action against you. It's uh, spoken to be able to prevent them from causing harm to anyone else. Um, but in some instances, it's believed that the binding charm can literally cause a person to be able to take un any action at all. Um, bindings are tricky things because you're stopping someone from continuing on their path of nefarious work or evil or whatever. Uh, you're also uh, preventing them from uh, causing further harm, further damage or whatever. Um, and especially insofar as witchery, you are literally binding them from uh, using their powers of witchcraft uh, to further their own agenda. Uh, the, 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 the charm within the power tradition is pretty simple. It's bind, 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 unless you can count the stars or the drops of the ocean be bound in the name of God the Father. God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. Uh, unfortunately for the, 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 the target of this, there is a remedy to it that they must say in order to be released from this binding. Um, the binding is forever unless they can say the, the release from it, which obviously I'm not going to share here. Um, but I teach this to people who come to me for one-on-one -on -one uh, training because if they themselves are bound there is a remedy for it which exists within the power of tradition so remember it's bind 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 unless you can count the stars or the drops in the ocean be bound in the name of god the father god the son god the holy ghost and you can say this over a picture of the person you can say it over the footprint of the person uh, while hammering a nail into that footprint, or you can literally say it over the person themselves. Um, the effect is the same. They will be unable to take action against you. And there is a counter charm, uh, which they wouldn't know, but I, you know, I can teach you that if you care to know it. Um, but the counter charm works if you yourself as a powwow are bound by a witch, um, no matter what kind of uh, binding magic they do on you the counter charm would negate that uh but it's just kind of an interesting thing within the power tradition that we have that um but again remember that uh power is very anti-witchery and witchcraft is such a loose woolery kind of situation it's kind of a bs creation it's not that old um it does not have a lot of history uh, that they can claim, and it doesn't have a lot of power behind it. So witchcraft, modern witchcraft, is very easy to negate and overcome. Uh, you know, it just is what it is. But anyway, I wanted to share that with you. Uh, so that's a, a, a binding charm. And if you're interested in the remedy for it, you know, that's something you'll have to learn from your local powwow. Uh, but there you go. So hope you're having a good day. Have a great night. God bless you guys. Love you. And we'll talk soon.